This is nuts and bolts speed training with your keyboard shortcuts for inserting hyperlinks in PowerPoint, which is useful for creating navigational features within your presentation. And besides just looking at hyperlinking text versus hyperlinking objects, which is the most common hyperlink debate, I also want to look at what other types of PowerPoint objects can and can't take hyperlinks. And here in PowerPoint, let's first look at adding hyperlinks to text. So if I select some text in PowerPoint to insert a hyperlink for my keyboard, it's control K on my keyboard to open the hyperlink dialog box. Typically, if you're using hyperlinks for navigational features, you're going to navigate to some place within this document. I'm just going to select the first title slide. Now, a good keyboard shortcut within this dialog box is Alt P. So if you look at screen tip in the upper right hand corner, the underlying P, so Alt P will open that up. I'm gonna type text tip, hit enter, hit enter, and you can see that the hyperlink is added to my text. Now to actually use the hyperlink, I need to go to slideshow mode, so shift F5 for slideshow mode here on this slide. And you notice that as I hover over the hyperlink, I get the text tip that I just typed. And if I actually click the hyperlink, I jump to the first slide within my presentation. Now notice though, the problem with these text hyperlinks, if I come back to it, is that not only do I first get the hyperlink text formatting, which I can't edit here in PowerPoint, once I use the hyperlink, I also get the spent hyperlink formatting, so the purple instead of the blue. And the only way to change this back over is to come and select the hyperlink, control K, hit OK to reset the hyperlink. As an alternative to setting a hyperlink on text, a lot of people will set the hyperlink to an object that has the text in it. So if I hit Control K, I can add a hyperlink to an object instead of the text. I'm gonna again select the shortcuts, the first slide of my presentation, Alt P for my screen tip. I'm gonna type shape tip, enter, enter, shift F5, and notice that I have the hyperlink now set to the shape, which will also take me to the first slide without having to get that hyperlink text formatting here on the text. So I have my text tip, I have my shape tip. If I select the shape tip, I move to the first slide within my presentation, and notice that if I come back down to the slide that I set it on, the text formatting is not changed. So that's a quick workaround for getting away from the hyperlink text formatting, which you cannot edit here in PowerPoint, by adding a hyperlink to a shape instead of adding it to the text itself. So that's adding hyperlinks to text and objects, which would be the same as adding a hyperlink to a picture. Now let's cycle through some examples and see what else we can and can't add hyperlinks to here in PowerPoint. So if I page down to the next slide, here on this slide, I have a group of objects, and notice if I hit Control K on my keyboard, nothing happens, so you cannot add hyperlinks to a group of objects. If I hit page down again, this is a smart art graphic, and if you select the outer smart art graphic, you can Control K, not only set a hyperlink to a smart art graphic group, you can also additionally add, I'm gonna add another hyperlink to slide number six, so Control K, let's add the hyperlink to slide number six, screen tip, Slide number six, enter, enter, shift F5. Notice that I have a hyperlink to the entire SmartArt graphic. I gave it a screen tip of SmartArt link. And I also have hyperlinks to each of the individual objects. So although you can't add a hyperlink to a group of objects, you can add a hyperlink to the greater SmartArt graphic and the individual objects within the SmartArt graphic. Hitting page down again, we have a chart, and if you select a chart, you can hit Control K on your keyboard to add a hyperlink to a chart, but it's important to note that even though you can select the individual elements within the chart and hit Control K, which looks like you're gonna add a second hyperlink, a chart can only take one hyperlink. So if you add a hyperlink to the greater chart or the individual elements, that will override that hyperlink to that entire chart. A chart can only take a single hyperlink. Page down again, and we want to look at a table. So these are actually tables within a rectangle, and if I select a table and hit Control K, notice that I cannot add a hyperlink to a table. That said, you can add a hyperlink to text within a table, so Control K. I'm gonna again just select my title slide, select OK. The only problem with this is you're back to the text formatting, which you cannot edit here in PowerPoint. So a workaround when working with tables, if you want to add hyperlinks, for example, to the shareholder name number two, a clever workaround is to add an invisible rectangle, so a rectangle or other shape with no fill and no outline. Just Control K to add that hyperlink to the invisible shape, which if you shift F5, notice that there's no hyperlink here, but if I hover over to the left, I do get the hyperlink, and if I click it, I jump to that slide. Lastly, let's look at navigating our hyperlinks in slideshow mode, and I'm gonna come back to slide number five, where we have our seven different hyperlinks set up with the SmartArt graphic. But what I wanna first point out is that on this first object, slide number one, I've actually come up to the Insert tab, 
I've come over to the action button and I've added a second hyperlink. So first off, we have the mouse click hyperlink, which will move us directly to the shortcuts slide, which is the first slide in my deck here. But I've also added a mouse over effect to end the slideshow. So if you mouse over this with your cursor, the slideshow will end. And we can launch both of these from our keyboard in presentation mode. So I'll hit Shift F5 for presentation mode. First off, you can tab forward through your hyperlinks if your slide does have hyperlinks. So that's tabbing forward. You can also shift tab backwards. You can see that the hyperlinks have that little box around it. Now, once you've found a hyperlink you want to activate, if you hit the enter key, it's the same as clicking it with your mouse. So if I hit enter, I jump to the first slide of my presentation. And if I move back to that slide, tab forward back to slide number one, I can activate the mouse over effect with shift enter. So if I hit shift enter, you can see that the slideshow ends. And if I shift F5, it's the same as if I take my mouse cursor and I just hover over that object, I get that mouse over hyperlink action, which in this case ends the slideshow. So those are your keyboard shortcuts for inserting and navigating hyperlinks and a quick look at some of the objects you can and can't add hyperlinks to here in PowerPoint. To grab a PDF of all of these awesome shortcuts plus over 100 more, look for the link beneath this video.